Hi guys, hope you're all well. I wanted to do a little quick video for you because I want to start getting back into doing my videos for you all because I know I've stopped doing them um, with different things going on but I now feel ready to start those again. So if you've got sort of questions or subjects, um, I can only answer these from my own personal experience um, and my own understanding but I want to do that for you guys, okay? Um, and someone's recently asked me you know, what happens to spirit children and then to babies when they pass over um, to spirit, you know? And again, this is my own personal belief and understanding of what happens from what I've been shown from when I connect with people that I read for. So very often I will have um, children that have passed to the world of spirit, you know, come through and connect with me. And they will show themselves in many different ways and forms. So for some, you know, for some of those energies, they will actually show themselves as a child. Um, or they'll give me the feeling that they've actually passed through a miscarriage or an abortion or just, you know, um, unforeseen circumstances. And they will show themselves to me in childlike energy. OK. Um, and then there are others that, again, will show themselves to me as a child, but they may show me themselves growing up through the ages and they may actually then show me themselves, they may shape shift a little bit and they may show themselves at the age they would be now had they still survived the earth plane. So I do feel when we pass over to spirit, depending on how we've lived a life, we have options. So for some people, they will be in time reincarnated for other people, they may choose to stay in the spirit world. Now, that doesn't mean that they're sort of lost or they're abandoned. They're perfectly safe in the spirit realm. But, you know, they are just, cho they've just chosen to stay at that energy point, you know, for whatever reason. Which we may or may not fully know or understand the reasoning why they've done that. And then there'll be others that do get reincarnated in time, you know. So it's a very personal experience and as we're all very different people in life, it's no different in the spirit world. We're all different personalities, we're all different ideas and opinions on things. So it's the same sort of thing. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So when people say to me, you know, what happens to a child that's been lost? It's very tricky to answer because it is such a personal experience. So some of them will stay in spirit. Some of them will grow from the spirit world. And some of them in time may get sort of, you know, the chance to be reincarnated and come back in this lifetime in another vessel or in another form, you know, whether that be human again, it might be something from the animal kingdom or it might be something else, you know. So there are options and things that can and, and do happen. So that's my personal experience. So when I'm delivering a message to someone, whether it's on platform or whether it's a private reading, each experience is going to be different and each message, therefore, is going to be different. So if a child that's linked with me has shown themselves as a child, you know, I have to pass on that energy. And in equal measure, if somebody has passed and they've shown themselves as a child but then growing up, as a certain age, I have to tell that person, well, this is what they're showing me, that they've actually grown from the age of spirit and they're, they're this age now, you know. But the main thing to remember is if you've lost a child, is that they do always walk through this world with you, okay, in some form. And they will give you signs, you know, indications, particularly around birthdays or passings, important dates. If you're struggling in your life, you know, they will always try and show themselves to you in some way. And it, not, it might not be in physical form how you would like to see, but they will always get their message across. The important thing is to open your heart up to the idea of this and, you know, spirit work on that vibration of love. You know, so the more love that you can send to those that you hold close to you from the world of spirit, the more that these lovely souls can actually connect with you, you know. Quite often, people will show me if they've done a balloon release, I'll be shown these balloons, or if a star's been dedicated, or a song, or a tattoo's been done, or whatever it might be. 
So these beautiful souls will show me evidence to prove that actually they live on in your hearts. Okay, so it's just a quick video, guys. Um, like I say, it's my own personal um, experience with this. You know, I know that there are other mediums on here who may have their own ideas and their own experiences of what has happened to people that they've connected with. And that's perfectly fine. Um, but from my own experience, this is how I personally view when we transition, whether we're a young child or an older soul. So I hope this makes sense. Um, thanks, guys. Take care. And there'll be more mini videos coming soon. Catch up with you all soon. Bye.